I told y'all, I'm getting acclimated to being by myself. I've never been by myself. And all time a charge is filed and you're on federal probation, he has to, well the feds are gonna pick him up anyway because they have a hold on him. Oh y'all, I got some good news. I just want a rough neck nigga on the tongue bitch. You just want to send me automatic with a drum Hit me if I finish now, nah, that just begun I ain't giving out no nutty to no nigga just for fun Are you dumb? Uh -uh. Who's the man? I don't know no other man You f*** like a hundred niggas just for a hundred bands I don't even got me a hundred pieces. I'm still gonna make me a hundred M's with a hundred plans. <laughs> Give me peso, extend up. Good morning. It's Saturday morning. I'm in a good mood. Um, today is like the fifth. So I'm about to head to the shop. I'm gonna clean one building first, and I'm gonna head to the shop. We got a lot of stuff to do at the shop because y'all know me. I'm it's me now taking over the shop so we got like a full schedule today i need to go like nobody has newspaper anymore so i need to find like some type of paper maybe they have it at like home depot or joann's that i can wrap like my glassware and stuff in because that's like holding me from packing i got the kitchen like a lot of stuff broke down stuff that i know i'm not gonna use so yeah i want to do that we gotta go clean up at the shop and then I have some work to do, like, with my other job. So I got a full day. But anyway, I just wanted to come in, say hey, and we about to get going. Hey, E-Gang. So today is Sunday. I know I never came back on camera yesterday, y'all. And I was going to edit that part out, but I'm like, no, I'm going to just keep it real. Like, life be life And I didn't have a chance to get back on camera. So... Um, today I've been cleaning my buildings all day and now I'm about to get ready to go out and have a drink with um one of the girls I've been working with um with um when I was going with through Lenar Homes. I met her last year. Um she, I, they put me in a if you don't know Lenar Homes has a credit program. I'm not a gatekeeper, y'all. Um last year when I didn't have the credit I needed, I knew that Lenar before I started my journey, this was before I even went into contract, y'all. Um, it's probably it's been over a year actually. So Lenar Holmes puts you in the credit program, and I got put with Sakata. She is amazing with Ryan Holmes, and we just built a friendship. And she know her shit, y'all. She know her shit. She told me what to do to get my credit where it needed to be. She tell you exactly what to pay, what not to pay, how much to pay this, do this, finagle this, twist this, yeah. And she'll tell you exactly what your score gonna be. So thank you, Sakata. So she is, lives in um. She doesn't live in Jacksonville. I'm not going to say where she lives. But she is in Jacksonville. So I was like, girl, like, we got to meet. We never met in person. We got to meet and we got to go have a drink. And I think this is, like, great for me um, because of my situation. And, y'all, we built so much of a rapport that I felt comfortable enough to share with her before I decided to go on YouTube with what is going on with my husband. So, yeah. We're about to go to um, Seven Bridges. It's on the south side of Jacksonville. Have a little drinks and girl talk. So, yeah. I'm about to get ready. I'm supposed to be there at 8.30. The time is now 7.40. So, I need to be at this house by 8 o'clock. So, let me get going. Kisses and hugs. No, I never had an issue. Go to the club with your boys, baby. I never 
Gucci purse, Gucci shoes, and some shorts. Excuse the stuff, y'all know we moving. But yeah, let me hurry up and get in the car. Okay, y'all, I am headed to the, I'm not, I'm in the car, headed to dinner. Um, I did text her and let her know that I was going to be a few minutes late. She said no problem, because I think her hotel is literally probably like next door. Or like a few feet down so um the time is now 8 32 so yeah uh, and i'm going to the south side and i live on the west side so it's a little drive but i did want to chit chat with y'all a little bit um i wanted to y'all i wanted to do uber when i leave from dinner because that area is like a really popping area it's like a peak zone but y'all when we went to go clean the buildings today I guess someone threw like a gallon of milk away or something and it was spoiled and we normally like throw the trash on the hood and ride it to the dumpster if you know you know and um some kind of way my my son he made a mistake and the bag got stuck in the door so when he opened the door all it all of them I think it was milk because the smell is so horrible I really think it's milk it just all fell in my back seat and my kids they scrubbed it with like baking soda we did clorox um lysol and that smell will not come out i'm going to try nice lysol on um, nutra air but i can't put anybody in my car for uber smelling like that like mm -mm. i got a 4.5 star rating almost a f five star rating you know, i think i got a 4.7 mm -mm. can't do it but I wanted to make at least like $200 tonight. So I guess hope I'm going to leave my windows down tonight, let it air out, and hopefully I'll be ready to go in the morning. But yeah, your girl is still doing Uber. I'm still working, still doing my cleaning business, and still running the shop. I got up this morning and I had to go to the shop. And that's why yesterday I, I know I opened the video and then I never closed it because I ended up being, I got to the shop earlier that morning. I did not get home till 9 40 that night. And it's like, but I got to hold my husband down. You know, he was the one that would be to the shop all the time, but. Hey, e -gang. uh Uh-oh. Today is Sunday, July. I think it's like the 13th. It's been a few days since I last vlogged. Um, I just been trying to get my life in order, trying to get some things together. I do have a lot of stuff to update y'all on. Um. Y'all see my nail. Hey, it's a struggle right now. Kids supposed to start school tomorrow. I got to update y'all on a lot. So I got to make sure the kids straight before, before me. I come last. Anyway, um, I told y'all in the last vlog that I didn't know if I was going to keep the house. I'm headed over here to the house because I called. I did this. Okay, it's so much to talk to y'all about. But for right now, because I'm in a rush, I have to be there at 1030. It's 1024, but it's across the street. Um, I told the builder that I was gonna, um, back away from the house. I didn't have the money. You know, I didn't tell him in depth. I was just like, you know, my money is gone. I didn't have it. So she was like, I think I have a solution for you. She talked to her manager. She wants me to come in and talk to her. So that's where I'm headed now. Um, in the interim, I did find me a, find a new luxury townhouse. I did decide, um, to back away from the houses okay so i gotta catch y'all up on everything which house i chose and everything but for right now i'm gonna tell y'all i found a new luxury townhouse that I, I did get approved for we're supposed to move in next monday the 21st um it's brand new it's new construction and it's in an area that i always wanted to live desirable area oak leaf it's like 10 minutes away from my house now um and i decided to go through that so y'all my husband did not get released if you watched the last video i was hoping he would get released that friday he did not get released um 
yeah, it's still an ongoing battle, and I wasn't sure if my husband's gonna come home or not. And I had to make the best decision for me. The mortgage payment on that last house is a bit stiff, um, three thousand to be exactly, and to be exact. And you know, y'all remember we had to get on like thirty thousand total for everything at closing. So, um, yeah, it, it it was a lot. It was a lot. Um, and then come to find out, they was charging me points. Like, it was so much, I, it, it, like, y'all, you can really feel like everything falling apart in a, in a whole while God putting it together. But, yeah, I thought that, for me, I think the best decision was because I don't know if my husband coming home, get something that I can afford. And even if my husband does come home, they have t stripped him of his income. They took our money. They took his dogs. They I, The shop is still not open. So, I didn't want my husband to have that pressure of that $3,000 mortgage payment soon as he comes home because we're going to speak it into existing he is coming home but anyway y'all we'll talk about it let me go because it's 10 27 now and i gotta go she waiting on me okay y'all just left my mama house she keep cooking for us baby yes and it looks so good okay so like i said i just left my mom's house i'm trying to grab me a quick bite because we got to go clean these buildings she made the best collard greens in the world. But, so, okay. Let me not be rude. Um, so, spoke to the builder. First of all, I just wanna say, KB Homes, customer service is top tier. Like, top tier. They are so, yeah. So my sales representative, Cam, okay, cut that down a little bit. I got the boys with me now. Um, my sales representative, she came up with some options for me, but um, as of right now, I don't think it's, I don't know. So if you watched my last vlog, y'all, my mind all over the place, so I don't know if I already said this, but my husband didn't come home last week like we thought he would. Um, That door is still open. Open, Katie, open and shut his door for me. It's still open. Um, Let me stop. Okay, thank you. Um, so he didn't come home like we thought he was going to. The state has not formally filed any charges, so he's just holding. Because like I said, when you're on federal probation, you cannot get released. Um, they have until next Friday to file charges. You have 30 days to file charges. They can file for, file for an extension, and I think that'll give them 41 days. But I'm really praying that hopefully we will find something out by this week. Um, the lawyer, our lawyer, his lawyer, whatever, has been in contact with the prosecutor. Um, so, yeah, we're just praying and hoping. So, when I found out my husband did not get released and, you know, I thought this was just going to be a breeze. But these prosecutors in Duval County, they, so, you know, elections are coming back up. They want a high conviction rate. And that's just all it's about. It's about politics and convictions. And so I had to regroup and I had to be smart and I had to say, okay, you know what? Maybe I got to step back from these houses. Um, like I said, that mortgage payment is $3,000. So two things. Number one, I didn't want to do that by myself. I'm getting, like I told y'all, I'm getting acclimated to being by myself. I've never been by myself in all the years. About to be 37. I've never been by myself. So this is new in the beginning I was like I can't do this y'all. I can do it. I'm getting stronger I'm so much stronger than I was. It'll be a month Tuesday in two days today is Sunday It'll be a month that my husband has been gone. Um so Yeah, I'm sorry. They have until Tuesday to make a decision. I said Friday Tuesday So yeah, um, I just don't know so with that being said I didn't know um if he if so if charges are filed the lawyer thinks she can get them dropped to like misdemeanors and he'll have time served which is it's not okay but it's okay he already has a record so it's not like protecting his record however anytime a charge is filed and you're on federal probation he has to well the feds are going to pick him up anyway because they have a hold on him um but once charges are filed they have to do he has to be violated so if they drop the charges Hopefully his I have spoken to his probation officer. Um, hopefully she doesn't violate him So at this point last week, I was like, okay, I don't know if my husband is gonna go to jail Um, I had to give up a couple contracts because it's just too much on me when he normally he's with me to help me clean 
my daughter and my kids have stepped up tremendously but school starts tomorrow and I just don't want to put that much pressure on them I want them to be kids you know even though I do pay them I just still want them to be kids so um I was just like no I need to start looking for a rental that I can afford um I thought about it because at first I was like okay I needed a four bedroom and as y'all know I was like okay I can't get a four bedroom under 2000 so I was like I really don't need a fourth bedroom my my daughter my oldest daughter she has her own place when she come over most of the time she never not even most of the times all the time she never sleeps in her room she always sleep on the couch like the kids they all gather in the loft and they sleep on the couch so I'm like I don't really need a fourth bedroom so I put in three bedrooms I was on um Rently the app and I found these brand new luxury condos. In fact, it was the the builder is one of the builders I was looking at. Y'all remember Lenar Homes? So Lenar built these brand new luxury townhomes. Um, I applied and I got a, applied and I got approved the same day. Um, the rent is very cheap. It's seventeen fifty. They have a few fees like smart home fees and everything. So after the, all the fees, it comes up to eighteen fifty a month, which I can handle by myself. And um so i spoke to kb and i told him i didn't tell him everything like i said i told him the situation she was but they wanted to save the house um and when i spoke to her today um they are trying to help but it's kind of not aligning how i need it to align and what would be the best decision for me because even when my husband comes home you know he got to start all over and we have they gave us all these citations at my shop thousand dollar citations they gave us these citations. We still, they, they just did so much, y'all. They said, we've been in business over, what, three years? And they're now coming to say, oh, this is a violation, that's a violation. So we have to pay to get all this fixed. I've already had to pay $2,000 just to do the stuff that they said do on the outside. Mind you, they took all my money. So I'm hustling, I'm Ubering. I'm doing Uber in the morning. Getting up first thing in the morning, doing over, then going to the shop, meeting the guys over there that's been helping me, then coming back, clock in from work. Then most days I have to go back to the shop, make sure everything closed up, locked up, feed my kids, clean buildings, and do over again. So it's beginning to be a lot. And I'm just praying that God brings my husband home this week. I need him home. But if he's not gonna come home, uh, eventually he's gonna come home one day. I just had to do what I had to do and make the best decision with the townhouse. Um, so yeah, I don't really think it's gonna work out with KB. No, it's nothing they did, it's all on me. They're trying to help me, but you know, it's the so November, like, is their tax quarter, and they don't like my house. Like, I'll put the approval on the screen, they end up sending it to me. It's like, they sent me a closer date for September 20th, and I was like, <gasps> Y'all told me the house was gonna be ready in November. Like, I was completely thrown off guard, and I don't know, I don't think I will have my money back by then. And I also don't want to put that stress on my husband. My husband, he likes to be the man, and you know, he's coming home to nothing. So, you know, it's just a lot, y'all. It's just a lot. I just had to make the best uh, decision for me um, right now. Whatever, you know. So I'm set to move in on in the townhouse on the 21st. Um, I, that's a different county, so I had to register my kids for school. There's a couple things they need, like a physical. So my kids are probably gonna miss the first day of school tomorrow because, like I said, I just made all these decisions last week. I got my move-in date Friday. I had to get like I never had lights in my name. I had to call. Um, the uh, electric company which is a different county because I could have transferred my husband lights because I did get power of attorney I had the lawyer give me power of attorney um but it's a different county so I had to get new lights that was a deposit and I'm like why well, I gotta pay a deposit I got good credit I got decent credit I ain't got excellent but I got decent credit but I guess that's just what comes with it I had to pay a deposit for that you know I had to pay first month on um, rent and deposit on the townhouse so yeah, if it hasn't been for my job and me hustling and Ubering and y'all, I don't know what I would do. Luckily, the boys' dad, they brought them out of school clothes. Um, I just had to like get my daughter some stuff, girly stuff, you know. But anyway, I don't be wanting to be rambling. So yeah, we literally headed to buildings now. I'm trying to get done early. So I'm gonna try to let them see if they can go to school tomorrow. The urgent care clinics, they do physicals because me trying to get them in with their PCP is gonna be like, probably a week wait 
So I'm gonna take them to the urgent care clinic first thing in the morning, try to get them school physicals and see if I can get them in school tomorrow, like starting, because I don't want them to be too far behind. Of course, I'm gonna give y'all an empty townhouse tour. It's really like, it's really nice, y'all. I actually really, really like it. Um, it's 1,700 square feet, three bedrooms, 25 bathrooms. That's pretty big. And when I was comparing like houses, the houses were like 15, when I was looking at three bedroom houses, they were like 1,500 square feet, 1,600 square feet. So this townhouse is really big. It has a little small loft for the kids. It's, um, of course, us there downstairs. It has really nice flooring. Everybody knows Lennar's flooring, if you're from Florida. Um, well, they everywhere. But it's nice. So I'll give y'all an empty house tour. Um, I did sell, I, so when I get home, I'll go over the house with y'all. Like I'm trying to break the house now. I got like two weeks to be out of there, two weeks left. So I'm trying to break everything down. Like trying to do all this without my husband. Trying to get stuff moved. I've been putting stuff on the marketplace. It's been moving, it's been selling. But yeah, so when I get home, we'll talk a little more. Maybe pack a little boxes. And yeah, so I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, it's like 6.30. We just got done doing the buildings. I look horrible. This sun is so disrespectful, it's brutal. But we're at Walgreens. Kaden likes to be paid in cash, but most of the time, Roblox cards. So we're about to get him a Roblox card. He worked really hard today. He did really good. So yeah, even though I'm struggling. Hi, how are you? I still gotta, you know, I can't let them work for free and I can't try not to let them know you know I want his life to be as normal as possible come on Kaden so yeah here we go Roblox uh oh grab one thank you right. no, no oh. get out we can take it to the counter all right we got our gift card so I'm gonna go home. I am tired. I don't know if I'm gonna do Uber tonight. I think I need to like finish packing up at the house. We're tired. It was just me and the boys today. But me and Katie knocked the buildings out. Ain't that right, Katie? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Good morning, e gang. Today is Monday. Um, it's the first day of school in Duval County. But because y'all know that. We're moving like a, ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. Y'all see how that humidity hit that camera? Mm. Y'all, it's this global warming is real. I gotta get my coffee, y'all. I need my husband home. Y'all hear how loud it is when I crank it? Um, A dude, one of his friends told me it sounded like I put a hole in my muffler. So yeah, that's just more money. Anyway, good morning. I am headed to, um, it's 7 o'clock. I did not do Uber this morning, y'all. I was tired, and I knew I needed to get to my kids' schools this morning. So, they're going to Clay County Schools, and I was only able to get my lease Friday, so, um, I wasn't able to get them. Clay County started school Thursday, so I just got my lease Friday. I had to get my lights cut on in Clay County. Um, so yeah, you need all that to register for school. So I did it. They have a really simplistic system in Clay County. First of all, Clay County has some of the best schools. Um, they're A schools, but they have a really simplistic system. Like I did everything online, like registering them. However, I need to go to my kids' old schools and get their records. So I'm hopefully their records are enough because like it was asking for like immunization, physical, hopefully all that is in their Duval County records and I don't have to do all that so they can start school today. You know, this morning, they already got their clothes ready or they can start um, hopefully no later than tomorrow. So that's why I'm heading now to the schools. Of course, I'm not gonna vlog at the schools because People are weird and I don't need anyone to know what schools my kids go to. What is back there? But yeah, I just wanted to come in and say good morning. Um, it's Monday, so I don't have any buildings to clean. So we're definitely going to get some packing done around the house. It's like, it's crunch time. I move next Monday, so I move a week from now in my new condo, townhouse. So I can't wait to show y'all that. Of course, I'm going to do an empty townhouse tour. And yeah, I've been on... Um, Wayfair just like making me a wish list for when I get back on my feet, get my money back. 
so that I can um get new furniture because y'all know I'm not taking anything. And also, um, I got up this while I was talking to my husband last night. He's still sitting. So this week makes his 30 days. I know I said in the previous clip that Tuesday makes his 30 days, but Tuesday makes four weeks. Friday actually makes his 30 days. So I just emailed his lawyer because like, what's going on? Why he's still sitting? And although they are good, you just feel like my husband's charges are so weak. I just don't feel like he should still be there. And then he hasn't been able to get her on the phone. You can when you're in jail, you can't call your lawyer for free. And he hasn't been able to get her. He's been getting her paralegal and he wants to talk to her. So I just sent her a nice email like, hey, we need to do a conference call or you need to actually go down there and talk to him because Yeah, what y'all charging is a lot. Like right at fifteen thousand dollars. Cause they have like it's a charge and then they have a fee. Yeah. So it's a lot of money. So um yeah so that's that so i'm waiting to hear back from her and yeah i'll let y'all know um we sh hopefully should have an answer by tomorrow he's supposed to go to court on the 16th so they have to put it in the system by tomorrow at noon um what what it's gonna be although they can file for an extension so they have 30 days to file charges no charges has been filed yet they have 30 days but they can file for an extension which would keep him, which would keep him in jail like 40 some days but anyway um we prayed last we prayed together last night i've been praying every day i've been on my face praying and i just ready for god to bring him through this thank y'all for like um my video I posted a video yesterday and I haven't had time to reply to the comments but thank y'all so much y'all are so encouraging I've even got cash out I told y'all it's always the strangers like thank y'all thank y'all thank y'all so 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 much like y'all literally had me in tears I'm a cry baby anyway but yeah like it, it really is some good people in the world it, it really is but anyway, I don't want to ramble too long. I'll call y'all back when I get everything situated. Because I don't want my kids' schools on camera. Sorry. Okay, y'all. So, I went to Lana's school and Kaden's school. And so, Lana's school, mm, the lady wasn't that nice. But Kaden's school is really, really nice. And she said she saw my paperwork. And she hopefully will get him in tomorrow or at the latest Wednesday. Um, Lana School was like, we don't. She's like, um, parents waited to the last minute to register, and we have a lot. I'm like, no, baby, I didn't wait to the last minute. I just moved. <laughs> but anyway, hopefully Lana could get in school this week too because she's a senior, so I don't want her missing a lot. I don't want any of them missing a lot. But so I'm at Caden School right now. Let me see, can y'all, yeah, y'all can't see where. <laughs> so I just want to put my new address in because I don't know, because it said he's not eligible for a bus. So I just want to see, like, how far it is. Oh, it's not even a mile from my house. That's why it has to be a mile. Wait, it is. It's two miles, seven minutes. So it says seven minutes to get to my house. And say he's not eligible for a bus, which is fine. I'll bring him every day, but I thought if it was at least a mile... You can catch a bus. Mm, I don't know. But anyway, um, um, I, I need to go to the car wash. My car is so dirty before I go clock in. Yeah, maybe I'll go to the car wash. If I wrote you a symphony Okay, y'all, I just pulled back up to the house. I don't wash and vacuum the car. Now I'm about to make these kids come, since they don't have school today, come wipe my car out with some Dawn Power Wash because they got Wendy's barbecues. They just got stuff everywhere. So it's like 940. I made it home with five minutes to spare before I have to clock in for work. Do a little work. I don't think I'm working a full day today. Because I need really need to like get this house finished, taken care of. So yeah. Um yeah. I just need to get it done. So yeah, let me go ahead and clock in for work and then I'll call y'all back in a minute. Y'all look, my couch gone. Ain't nothing over there. It's gone. 
I'm gonna show y'all what's been gone, what's gone so far and everything um, when I call y'all back. Okay, it's later on in the day. I've y'all, I did my eyebrows with some nair. Cause y'all, I ain't got time to be paying for no wax. So on a budget. So yeah, I just took a shower, put on some little shorts. I'm about to go to Ross, try to finish up my daughter school shopping. Like I try to get stuff as I, I get money. And then I'm also, I gotta go by the shop. I haven't been by the shop today at all. So I gotta go by the shop. Y'all excuse the kitchen, we packing up, it look a mess. Um, and then when I come home, I just wanna pack a little more boxes and stuff. So yeah, we about to head to Ross, me and all the kids. Um, I did Walmart for dinner. I went to Walmart. I went to go pick up my husband, Madison. Um, so I did Walmart for dinner. Oh, y'all, I got some good news. So, hey guys. Hey. <laughs> um, so the lawyer called and said that she talked to the prosecutor and they're willing to um give him time served and he could come home. The only thing about that is it would be so good if he wasn't on federal probation, but because he's on federal probation, the feds will pick, they will put a hold on him. They'll release him, the feds will pick him up, and then we have to see where it goes from there. So grateful she got this to time served and he go home. It's just a little minor misdemeanor, um, which is not really, it, it's, it's insignificant because he already is a felon. I mean, let's just keep it real. So, um, if he wasn't on federal probation, like I said, he would be coming home. But because of this, we got to see what the feds will do. She did read the guidelines. So, um, uh, um, a misdemeanor is a, uh, oh, God, what do they call it? Uh, uh, simple, a simple violation. So, it carries anywhere from four to ten months back in prison. Or, ten months is the most. Or, she can just reinstate him. So we're just hoping for a re reinstating. I did call the probation officer today. I do know her. I met I met her the first day he came out. So you know we have built a rapport. Um. So she, of course she told me she can't discuss the case with me. Hey, she told me she can't discuss the case with me. But I really got faith. That I don't think she's gonna violate him. I hope. Sometimes you just never know. I hope. Yeah, I'm still thugging it with missing nails, but you gotta do what you gotta do when you're on the budget. Anyway, y'all, that was that just really made my day. I'm glad the state case is over with. So now it's on to the federal case. And yeah, we'll see where it goes from there. But I will see y'all at Ross. Good morning. It's the next day. Yes, I look like yesterday, but I did. Y'all, I just took this out the dryer. I swear I did. And I just took a bath, okay? But um, it's just, like I got a lot of my stuff in boxes, so I'm just picking up little stuff that's easy for me. I don't got time, I don't got time. Anyway, I'm headed to take the kids to get a physical. Um, That's Cam. That's the last piece that they need. The school sent me an email, cause I told y'all they switched counties, so they need a physical. And a, um, I gotta pick up that shot record, yes baby. So yeah, we about to head and do that. Then I gotta finish getting this house together. Everything look a mess. Everything is a mess. My whole life is a mess right now, but I feel good today. Um, hold on, y'all. Let me open this garage. This thing got dark. So, yeah, we are all headed to do that. And then I probably got to stop by like a store. I got to fit. Katie and Cam are done. I've been told y'all that. I got to finish getting Lana a little stuff. I ordered her a pair of shoes. Y'all know these kids be crazy about those dunks. I don't know what it is about those dunks, but she got a pair of dunks coming. I got her a pair the other day. Y'all, the humidity always change. Hold on. Okay, I had to clean the lens. So yeah, I got her a pair of shoes the other day and then um, my ex-husband is supposed to get her another pair today. So that's three for her to start off. And as I start getting back on my feet, I'll get her more. Get in your car seat. <laughs> so yeah. Um, all right, y'all. Bye-bye. Okay, y'all. Ooh, these edges. I found my earrings. I'm just, you can just hang up with this walk. I'm frustrated because I get to the care spot, which is my fault. I had to do some stuff this morning. Like, I have to handle business. It's just me. So, we get to the care spot, and they're like, oh, it's seven people ahead of you. It's going to be a long wait. And they need these physicals to go to school tomorrow. So, yeah. I'm just like, what else can go wrong? And then, physicals back when I did it, I think I did one last year, a sports physical. Anyway, it was like $20. It's fifty dollars now, so that's a hundred dollars that I gotta pay for both of them, cause they don't take insurance, like not for the physicals. 
so yeah I'm just one thing after another one thing after another and then the air my air is broke at my home so the guy just called me and said he's 15 minutes away I'm about 30 minutes away from my house I told him I was 15 minutes away I hopefully he sits there and wait for me but it's a frustrating morning life keeps lifing but god what now all right i'll call y'all back all right y'all so we just got back to the house the the guys here to fix the air i'm about to cook them some breakfast because i can't keep spending money so i'm just about to cook them something real quick then we're gonna try to get these physicals done again we're gonna go to a different location so yeah So we just got back home. Um, I end up getting the kids physicals for thirty dollars because I went to Doc Tony. As you saw, the dog food all I had to buy was two bags of dog food, and I got the physicals for thirty dollars because the dog food was thirty dollars. I am cooking them dinner now. I'm tired of buying out, so we are cooking, and I'm just cooking them some sloppy joes, something quick and easy. So I just went to it, and it was only twelve dollars. So um, I just got some sloppy joe mix and some um buns i bought some buns somewhere buns hun and i got some buns and i'm gonna keep trying to pack boxes while i'm cooking do that and then i um my daughter i have two little easy buildings tonight so my daughter is gonna do those for me so i can finish packing i need to do work for my job and i need to edit this video because I need to get back consistent. But yeah, y'all, excuse the kitchen. Y'all know how it is when you move in the house. It's a mess, okay? It is a mess. So yeah, just excuse the house right now. Trying to get everything um, together. It's hard, like, doing this by myself. I always, I always had my husband's help. So yeah, um, just cooking this Slappy Joe. Like I said, I'm going to start back packing some boxes. So yeah, oh, I lost one of my earrings. Mm. Y'all, I forgot to tell y'all that I did. Oh my God, my mind so bad. I forgot to drain this meat. Lord have mercy. I'm so stressed out. Um, I forgot to tell y'all that I did um get the kids immunization records from the health department. So at first when I went, they was like, oh, you'll get it in two weeks. And then as soon as I got back to the other side of town, they called me back and said I could come back and pick them up. So. I did get the immunization records, the shot records. I upload everything tomorrow. Lana starts Thursday. Katie starts tomorrow. So glad to be done with that. I got to drain this off. I'm glad I bought two cans because I forgot to drain this meat. Y'all, my mind is all over the place. I've been, I live my phone, I got options And 
don't wanna tell you to drop it But I don't wanna play your fair Yeah, something That makes me look at you too often oh, Baby, you can give it something Baby, I can run all the time I'm talking crazy I need you right in my space But I need it, baby, I'm late But I still can check in with you I know that I need my friends But I wouldn't want to leave You know I wouldn't want to bleed Even my heart, my mind, and my body Say, 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 say. search warrant is a discovery it's the reason why we got the discovery today and from what we're reading there was no probable cause for them to to come in my home or to like yeah it's a lot so anyway um yeah um i don't know we'll just play it by ear I'm going to go ahead and close this vlog out because I need to get Kaden ready for school tomorrow. I'm going to retwist his hair, pull his clothes out. Um, We're going to pray and get his bath and get him in bed because it is already um 7.04. So, yeah. And then we'll start another vlog tomorrow. I promise to start back being consistent. Um, I just talked to the um lady for my townhouse. And I have what they make you do an orientation. I've rented through this company before. The house prior to this house I'm living in now, I rented through them. And they make you do like an orientation. So it's cool. It's on like 30 minutes. And then they'll they don't come out to the home. They tell you like how to get the key out of the lockbox and stuff. So um I do that um Monday morning at 8 o'clock. I have Cam's orientation for school at 9 o'clock. And then we're gonna go straight and start moving stuff in. We're going to continue to break stuff down. I almost got the kitchen completely done. I left some pots out because I, I'm trying not to spend money, so I do want to cook some. So I left some pots out for little small meals I can make. I emptied the, y'all see me empty the Madison cabinet. Um, I need to empty the um, my glassware and chinaware, my plates and stuff. But I, I bought some wrap from um, Home Depot, so I, I need to wrap that. But I need to go ahead and get Caden situated. Um, so that he can have a productive school year and a great day tomorrow. So, yeah. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Once again, thank you to everybody for your support. Thank you to the ones who sent me a cash out. Y'all are, like, amazing. So, I just want to thank everybody again. And thank you to all my new subscribers. I have a lot of new subscribers. Y'all are so dope. I see y'all messages. I try to reply to everybody. Um, sometimes I don't get an alert for my Instagram because it just be so many alerts. Cause I had, at one time I was getting like thousand notifications a day when I was consistently posting. So if I don't respond to y'all message like right then, just know I do try to get to all of them. But yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Love y'all. E game. Bye.
Nice, 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 nice,